Wait. Oh my gosh, is it on already? Are we are we on? Go oh, wait, we are. We're on. Morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> We're just sort of being doofuses over here. Hey, we are here to talk about the Master Gardener at home projects. At home? So we're at someone's home. We're at my home. We're at my home. <laughs> wait, where are we? <laughs> wait, wait, that's my line again. Where are we, Tom? We're at Kelly's at home, and we're going to visit we're gonna some of our gardens. We're going to highlight a couple of, well, what are the three um, extension master gardener at home project categories? There's walk by gardens, walk by, walk gardens, by poll pollinator, pollinator gardens. Yep. And there are giving gardens. Giving gardens. And there are what's the third one? Plant, plant, propagating plants. Um, oh yeah, propagating plants to give away. So I live on a busy street, as you can see. There was <laughs> the city bus. But the first thing we're going to look at today, and hey, we are doing this for all of you master gardeners out there who have been logging hours for at-home projects. So we're hoping that you are going to post pictures and maybe your address because typically people know where these gardens are out in public right they can access them and walk past and we have a map for those and we all you could get a sign from the state and get a sign from the state that shows it's an at-home garden yep. so the first thing we're going to highlight here at my place is my boulevard bioswale now technically this was my capstone project for my master water steward or minnesota water steward certification that I was sponsored with the City of Rochester Public Works back in 2000. Gosh, that was a long time ago. 2017, I believe. Got my certification in 2018. I was an and intern then. Yeah. yeah, you were an intern with the Master <laughs> Gardeners then. And I hadn't quite gotten recertified then. <laughs> but, so this is my Boulevard Bioswale. This takes water off of my driveway, off of my sidewalk, and drains it down into the boulevard. And with a three inch rain, now you all know that we're getting, when the rains come, we're getting more of them at a time. So this diverts over 2,000 gallons of water with wow. one three-inch rain. That's a lot. It's, it's, a, it's a huge amount of water. These are all native plants, and I actually propagated all of these. So I gave a lot of these native plants away to other Master Gardener projects, and I also sold some of these at the Rochester Farmer's Market this spring. So I used them for myself in my walk-by pollinator garden. And there's and a I, lot of plants in here. There's 207 plants 207 in here. 207 plants. Yep, and I spec'd out the design for blooming throughout the season. There's native grasses. Um, and all of these host either larval species of moths or butterflies, or they host um, predator, predator insects, or they host some of our really beautiful butterflies that we all know and love. And we've got a special plant that is the is the feasting plant of the rusty patch bumblebee which as i recall is dahlia purpurea purple prairie clover purple, purple, yeah, you're yeah. more about you're more about pollinators than i, I, I am try to be. i'm about local food and clean <laughs> water so that's why this is a boulevard bioswale so this is yeah so, i really like this part. yeah but so the let's, rest of the garden is pretty impressive too so let's walk back say. it's kind of a mess right now so okay. let's walk back and, to and you probably all know what this is Hey, Common don't milkweed. don't highlight this. It's hanging over the sidewalk, oh, and it's okay, a problem. <laughs> I gotta get it up. It's, it's obstructing the public walkway, right, okay. and it's a problem. I feel really bad about that. I gotta get it tied up. Okay. I've been busy, Tom. You know how busy I am all the time. <laughs> yeah. So let's walk back here to the back of my garden, and what I have back here is my giving garden. I donate a ton of produce to folks in need and to other programs throughout the city that give out food. So my giving garden is my potager. Oh, isn't and this? Yep. I and we're grow, on the terrace right now, but we're yep, looking and into I the grow, potager. I grow all of these plants from seed that I put into my garden. And I give away those plants for local food projects that we have into community gardens that are grown um, you know, throughout the city as well. The village received my plants. Oak Terrace Parkside received my plants. I think um, Master Gardeners. What was that? The school oh, here. MLK, of course, received MLK, my plants because they're all. And then school over there by Riverside. The other school by Riverside. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. The Hawthorne Helps Hathorne, Program yep, yep, at yep. Hawthorne. And yeah, I forget about all these things. Thank you. All right. So <laughs> so this is my giving garden. And I've been able to produce over um, over a thousand pounds of food typically um, every year easily. Last year it was close to 3,000 pounds. But this year. What do we have happening? We have a severe, extreme drought happening, especially in Southeast Minnesota, especially Olmsted County, actually. So I've been reluctant to water a lot because as a water steward and as a sustainability person, I really resent consumptive water use. And of course, watering food should not be consumptive water use, but 
This year, we, has this been year, tough. this it's year has been, been tough. So my garden's a little behind. However, I am producing a ton of seed. This garden is all about seed this year. This I'm sort of foregoing seed harvesting. Factory. It's a seed it's factory. It's a seed factory. So I <laughs> donate a lot of my seeds uh, to the uh, Rochester Public Libraries, the seed library at Rochester Public Library that I co-founded with my friend Heidi Cass, who heads up um, Backyard Bounty Urban Homesteading. And we're both major seed producers, so that's what this garden is all about this year, is mostly producing seeds. But I've also, this year, going to kind of pump up my version of hosting a walk-by garden. Because my alley is a public right-of-way, people can see this garden. So I host open garden hours on Sundays in August. So please come for open garden hours this Sunday, in all, all Sundays in August from 1 to 4 p.m. But Tom, you know what a local food freak I am and how I'm all about food oh, security and especially let's urban just say agriculture. Kelly's awesome one on one. And if you can get here and talk to her and she's gonna share so much knowledge with you. you it, it's you'll be fun. so it's impressed. Fun. I love to do it. Love yeah. to give community outreach and teach about this stuff. And so she had yeah, many visitors last year over the four four Sundays you did it or whatever, four or five. Yeah, I think maybe. I did six Sundays and six, I may expand wow. it into September depending upon what Where the weather's I? like. Oh, I was still you, in church, maybe you, I don't know what it's doing. You were not in church. You were you were working on your hops or something, oh, I think. Okay. Yeah. So do you want to take the phone off that uh, tripod maybe? Is that easier for you? Um, but the go. other the other thing that I'm gonna be doing this year is I'm re kicking up my food system films and those are gonna films. be happening films, yes. Films. Okay, okay. Films right here on the terrace. Wait, I've got some movies. What kind of movies do you have, Tom? Well, are we... <laughs> anyway, one more look what? at the garden here. One more it's look pretty at... good. It's pretty good. Okay. Um, so what what are you what are you talking about movies? I think you again uh, well, brought, brought a bunch of props, but I don't know if they fit the food. So I got I got Star Wars. Tom. I got. Monty Python, if you want to get funny. Oh my funny. gosh, Monty Python is so incredible. And of course, awesome. if we want some to jam, we got Purple Rain. So. Oh, and that's Princess what I thought. Awesome what too. movies you want to see? That would be a really fun, fun like uh, binge movie <laughs> session, actually. <laughs> oh my gosh! But I, no, Tom, I'm not talking about what? that. What? No, no. This is not entertainment. No, but I want the popcorn. Oh. <laughs> the popcorn looks really good. Yeah, the popcorn looks awesome. So what I'm going to be hosting on Friday evenings are food system films, and the first one that I'm going to be showing this Friday is Growing Cities. This is one of my favorite films. It came out in, I think, 2015 or 16, and it's all about urban agriculture. And you all know that I'm, like I said, I'm a local food geek. I'm all about urban agriculture and food security, increasing growing food within city limits in our infrastructure that already exists, that's waiting infill. So this is the first film that I'm offering Friday night. Is that tomorrow? That is tomorrow. That's tomorrow night <laughs> so on the So wake up. Yeah, wake up. We'll post something. Yeah, so You'll the, post something. Yeah, so yeah. the film um, will start at... What did I decide? 8.30? 8 o'clock. I think 8 o'clock because it's going to get too late. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. Yeah. people need that. 8 o'clock. And we can do some Q&A afterwards if you want. So bring something to drink. Join me on the terrace Look for at this. food yeah. system films that we can learn about and share how we can grow food together. And Master Gardeners, we want to see what you're doing for at-home projects. We're going to post the resource list for how Master Gardeners can get the word out about um, there's some there's some guidelines there to make sure that we get them. That, yeah. Because it's about you know we're all about community outreach and impact, and so you got to help to find yeah community what the impact, outreach and impact. Right? Yeah. Do you, you have, have visitors? Decide. Do you talk to them? Mm -hmm. do you, yeah. What what do you feel comfortable with doing your community outreach? That's yeah. that's the key. Yeah. And I just love to turn it on. <laughs> so, so educator educator. So hey folks. So watch for the postings. Watch for the postings. I'm behind on my Facebook events and all those You're other things because I'm so busy. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You are yeah. busy. Yeah, so with that, cheers. With that, cheers. We're gonna have some popcorn and uh, and watch Star Wars. No. Hit the gardens. <laughs> Hit the gardens right. this summer. And rock your day. Rock your day. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.